we could be seeing the end of one or more careers at this point. No. You've got to be kidding me. No! Joe would explode. Wait a minute. Come Joe, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell are, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing, Collier? You're six foot six. My God. Joe, I don't know if our cameras picked it up, but we just heard a thud. I don't know who or what that was. Well, we are moments removed from IWC's fight night across the world on Fight TV and coming soon to the IWC network as well. And we are speechless. We're breathless yeah. based on what we saw because our feature matchup, you can hear there's still wreckage. There's pieces of table over there. There's droplets of blood, chairs, garbage cans, canes all Teeth, over the place. body parts. Because we saw Matthew Justice in his environment, in his world, what some would call an upset, but after the match we saw, I, I can't even use those words, but Matthew Justice defeated Bill Collier, ended big time to capture the Super Indy Championship, and, and what an experience that was. They battled back here, off the balcony, all over this building, and I'm just happy to say both two men are still, they're still breathing. Well, yeah, they're breathing. They're, they're not going to be walking right for quite a while, but uh, the fact of the matter is Matt Justice is your IWC Absolutely. Super Indy Champion once again. I am Joe Dombrowski, by the way, with Benjamin C. Steele for IWCWrestling.com and IWC Social Media. Uh, IWC Live pay-per-views can be seen every month on Fight TV moving forward. And, of course, our entire archives are up on the IWC Network at IWCWrestling.com. And if you want to relive this match or experience it for the first time if you didn't join us live my god the amount of things you missed one of the most chaotic and physical nights we've seen in quite some time andrew palace is still the iwc champion but it was a firm stiff test from derek dillinger the director well derek dillinger had him he had his number a number of times didn't quite get it done uh andrew palace stop us if you've heard this one still the iwc champion but Derek Dillinger wasn't done for the night. He had his issues also with Henry Godwin. We're talking about an upset. It was Chase Gold, or you want to say it? Chase Gold! Oh, no! Oh. And it's like a roller coaster. You pop in my ears. Uh, Chase Gold scored an upset over Henry Orpheus Godwin, WWE legend, here tonight. And with uh, old Hank's temper, Coupled with the involvement of Ella Shea, who stole the slot bucket. She stole the... Joe, it was on the line. You know what? Maybe they can make a fragrance out of it, because I think the smells are kind of similar. Uh, oh, it could be Nitro Cologne. Jack Pollock was looking for revenge on Chris LaRusso. We thought LaRusso was the one that attacked Pollock's knee back in the month of December. But it looked like a different assailant made their presence known. First, we saw a man I've never seen before in the ring, who's huge, whoever he is. And then... The reveal that it was Jack Pollock's former best friend, R.C. Dupree, apparently masterminded that attack. I was speechless. R.C. Dupree has done so much to move past the bad blood that may exist with the implosion of Team Storm a couple of years ago. But now we're right back inside the crazy maze of R.C.'s head, and I'm not really sure where we're headed from there. I'll repeat what I said on commentary tonight. Uh, R.C. Dupree is a man that uh, plays by the beat of his own drum, and when you have an eccentric man like that, only man that knows what direction he is going is R.C. Dupree, and, and maybe the, what was he, six foot five, six six, probably 280 pounds, solid. A lot of questions, and uh, R.C. Dupree may or may not give us those answers. When we saw R.C. at the top of the broadcast, he was part of a winning outing with Cole Carter scoring the victory for his team over Money Shot and Tito Orich. Issues there surrounding the high stakes and tag team championships. Katie Arquette is still the women's champion. She uh, survived the modern day pink haired Carl Gotch, Alec Hatch, and TME, a win over the runway. But what a uh, what an eccentric, not to take anything away from R.C. Dupree, but what a lavish entrance for Calvin and Tyler Klein as the runway. It was beautiful. It was, it was glitterati. Meets, meets professional wrestling, meets fashion, meets Milan, meets all those other European countries. We saw Spencer Slade victorious, but that segment ending with a very ominous and mysterious video that we don't have answers about. And we also saw unfinished business with the Gambinos and Hardcore Hammer Time. Nothing settled there. The match never officially got underway. But perhaps uh, one of the most physical and noteworthy moments of the night 
was the possession of the reset button. Vault Nasty has ended the regulators. They're donezo. They're history. Finito. They can't ever team together again. Vault Nasty has the reset button, and he put every champion on notice. Hold on. All of them. I need a moment of silence for the regulators. Don't do no, this again. Bitch. Don't get weepy on me. Talk amongst yourselves. I will give you a topic. The regulators are no, are no longer regulating in IWC because they were forced to break up. They're gone. Bye. See you, pal. Jock Sampson's history thanks to Bulk Nasty. And if I'm Andrew Palace, if I'm Matthew Justice, or maybe Bill Collier will win that title back. Cage match rematch August 14th at Cage Fury. Hell, if I'm both members of Money Shot, if I'm the Lebanon Don, I'm looking out because... Bulk will do what Bulk wants on Bulk's own time. And what a night it's going to be August 14th. We thought this was wild. We're bringing 15 feet of steel back August 14th on Fight TV for an IWC tradition called Case Fury. Well, I mean, it's, it's going to be a heck of a night. If it's even half of insane as this night was, we're in for another night here in IWC. And you don't want to read about it in somebody else's tweets. You don't want to read about it uh, on a dirt sheet. You don't want to have a friend tell you about it. You want to experience it live because the energy and the emotion and the elation in IWC is really second to none. Be there with us either in person or on Fight TV Saturday, August 14th for Cage Fury 2021 for Benjamin C. Steele. Are you going to be okay? You sure? You fine? Do you, wanna, do, you wanna, do you want to tell them why? Do you just want to throw that out there one more time? While, while they're down, you want to just kick them? While they I know they can watch the regulators break up forever on Fight TV for the replay and unlimited views. What? I'm Joe Dabrowski. We'll see you August 14th, Cage Fury 2021.